Hi there. I want you to look at this scripture together with me. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of the Lord. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me and he has anointed me to proclaim liberty. Another version will say, he has anointed me to proclaim freedom to the captives. And this is something that the Lord Jesus Christ would always proclaim to everyone who is under bondage to any of the oppression of the enemy or to any oppression of Satan. He would always say to you, you are free. You are free. I have come to set you free. One of the things that Jesus came to do in the world, in our lives, was to set us free from the dominion of darkness. When Jesus Christ came in as a man and walks on the sands and on the sands and on the shore of Galilee, why he came, one of the reasons why he came was to save those who had been held bound by Satan. And I want you to see the scripture also in the book of John chapter 8. John chapter 8. John 8 verse 36. He says, Therefore, if the Son sets you free, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Now, Satan is a tyrant. Satan, Satan does not just delight in making life hard for people. Satan delights in oppressing people, in tormenting people. Everywhere you see a man who is being tormented by the enemy, everywhere you see a man who is under captivity, be it under captivity to sexual addictions that they cannot set themselves free from, captivity to the accusations of the enemy over their bloodline and the families they are from, a captivity to something in their past. Anywhere you see captivity, it is Satan at work. And so Jesus says here, if the Son of Man sets you free, if he makes you free, you are free indeed. And I have a personal experience with the scripture. Um, last year where Satan was just messing with me and the Lord Jesus Christ was emphatic about it He was like Hepzibah you are free. I'm like God look at what happened and it's like no You are free. I have set you free and I started declaring that scripture and there was this song um, um, from um, I'm going to put it up at the end of this video. There was this song where the guy was singing, I'm free, I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. And I just began to declare and declare and declare that. Why? Because in the Lord Jesus Christ, there is freedom. And when the revelation of freedom comes upon you, then the bands, the, 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 the chains can be broken off of your neck. And I don't know why I keep forgetting to check out for where this exact scripture is the scripture where the lord says to the daughter of zion he says break out the bones from your neck break out the bones from your neck yeah this is it isaiah chapter 52 he says awake awake put on your strength O zion put on your beautiful garments O jerusalem the holy city for the uncircumcised and the unclean shall no longer come to you shake yourself from the dust arise sit down O jerusalem lose yourself from the bonds of your neck O captive daughter of zion who did he say would lose the bonds from your neck he says you yourself lose those bonds and how you lose those bonds is when the revelation of 
freedom in the Lord Jesus Christ comes to you and that's why he has anointed me to say to you oh daughter of Zion oh son of God you are free the Lord proclaims liberty to you he proclaims freedom to you and if you have been set free in Christ Jesus you are free indeed the only requirement for your freedom is that you come to Christ that you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ you can't go fighting the devil by yourself we don't have power to rage against Satan and that's why when you are under addictions under oppression no matter what you do it is not you it has to be the power of Christ coming to help you and so I want to pray with you if you I've never been born again if you have backslided I ask you to say this prayer with me that father in the name of Jesus I come to you Lord you said whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved I call upon your name and I ask you to save me from my sins oh God I give over my life my heart to you oh God I ask you to come dwell rest within my soul in the name of Jesus congratulations if you said that prayer send me a DM and let's get started on your growth in Christ Jesus the only requirement for you to know you are free is salvation salvation is such a gift I want to put up something at the end of this video also from a time in um, the month of January when we had the um, war on the demon of loss for those suffering from sexual addictions on the fourth day like Jesus literally walked into the room I felt his presence so strong and he began to prophesy through my lips and he started to say I have come to set the captives free I recently used that video again and the presence of God just filled my room so I'm going to pull out that prophecy at the end of this video he says I should say to you O daughter of Zion you are free I'm proclaiming freedom to you right now and I pray that the revelation of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for you for me the freedom of the Lord that has been given to us rest upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ amen don't forget that if you are currently taking part in the total deliverance program we're going to be meeting here by 3 p.m. on Instagram to break our fasts with prayer worship and the word so i'll see you then and also see you by 12 midnight for day two of our praise on total deliverance from the tyranny and the oppression of the enemy god bless you if you know anyone who needs to be a part of this who is literally satan is tormenting their lives and they need the help of the lord please invite them to come over freedom from oppression is in the lord jesus christ the lord is a deliverer and when the revelation of the lights of what he has come to do hits you, then you can break off the bonds from your neck. God bless you. The door of Buddha is here. The door of Buddha is here. Jesus himself is here. The door of Buddha is here. Jesus himself is here. The door of Buddha is here. Jesus himself is here. The one who opens the doors is here. He's here. He's here. And who could let my Jesus brother by the side? The one who set the captives free is here. Is here. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Everybody, she knows it. <laughs>